We begin with a series of dumpster fires in Pasco that has police investigating the suspicious circumstances. Our Madeline Hagen spoke with the Pasco Fire Department, who says this is too close for comfort to a deadly situation in California. One dumpster fire. Not that out of the ordinary. Two dumpsters on fire simultaneously? Not unheard of. Uh, as crews went en route, they were notified that it was possibly several dumpsters on fire. Four dumpster fires at the same time? Now that's just weird. Sure enough, they actually found two sets of two dumpsters behind two different businesses that are right next to each other. Ben Shear with the Pasco Fire Department says as crews were extinguishing these fires next to each other, another call came in for a fifth. The first crew was able to look down the alleyway, sure enough, and verified the next block over actually had a, another dumpster on fire. So crews, additional crews were called out to that one. Yes, five dumpster fires within just yards of each other, all happening in the early hours of Tuesday morning between the 18th and 1900th blocks of West Court Street. Shear says no buildings were damaged, but some utility lines were. It seemed a little suspicious to us, so we, uh, the crews did contact uh, Pasco Police Department. Shear says the event had crews on high alert as a Stockton, California fire captain was killed on duty while responding to a dumpster fire yesterday. And several of them said, hey, that, was, that really was in the back of their mind that, you know, the Stockton firefighters, of course, weren't thinking of any such thing happening either. And when you have an event that's out of the ordinary, you're always keeping situational awareness going. Um, you know, so crews were trying to keep an eye on things around them. Uh, just, you know, for those reasons. They're asking any businesses in the area that could have captured footage of the person responsible to contact police. For CapKV Local News, I'm Madeline Hagen. And again, if you do have a business in the area, police are asking for your help to find who lit these fires. You can contact their non-emergency line with information or surveillance footage.